guys. So today on this video, we are talking about crypto.com and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question or show you the process for some requests that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you reset your two-factor authorization or 2FA on your crypto.com app? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, guys, it's actually going to be a pretty quick video. There's not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to reset your two-factor authorization on crypto.com? Well, that's a pretty easy question to answer. Maybe you've lost access to your device or you changed phones or lost your phone or broke your old phone and you can no longer access your crypto.com through two-factor authorization. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the crypto.com app. It's this blue and white one right here. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open my crypto.com app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my crypto.com app. This is the home screen here. Now, if you want to reset your two-factor authorization on crypto.com, it's not an immediate process. It will take you a few days to process it depending on how soon crypto.com gets back to you. First thing you want to do is click right here on this gear wheel on the top left and that's going to bring up your settings menu. Okay guys, I went ahead and click there. Next you're going to get the settings drop down. However, in order to reset your 2FA on your crypto.com app, you want to scroll down until you get to this section right here. It's called two-factor authorization. I'm going to click there now. Okay guys, I went ahead and click there. Next the two-factor authorization menu pops up and crypto.com makes it pretty easy to find the instructions on resetting your 2 FA. What you want to do is click on this blue button down here called learn more about 2FA. Okay guys, I went ahead and click there. Next, the two-factor authorization FAQ page pops up and there's a lot of different information about that, about how it works. But what you want to do is scroll down until you get to this section called how to reset my 2FA. So you can go ahead and read through this, but basically what they need you to do is write on a piece of paper, your email address, your name as you have it registered with crypto.com, the date of request, which is obviously going to be the day that you're filling out the paper. Paper. And then you need to write in this very specific sentence, application for resetting 2FA authenticator on crypto.com. They also let you know that your face and the message that are written on a piece of paper must be clearly visible. Once you've done that, then you will need to snap a picture of you holding the piece of paper with that information. Now keep in mind that they do ask it to be handwritten. So don't go and type this out and then sign it, write it in your own handwriting. So I'm going to grab a piece of paper and go ahead and fill that out right now. Okay guys, I went ahead and filled out a sheet of paper in handwriting according to the instructions to crypto.com. So I included my first and my last name. Also, I put in the date of request. So I'm putting in today's date. And then next I put in the required wording, which is application for resetting two-factor authorization. I'm sorry, 2FA authenticator on crypto.com. I apologize for my handwriting. I'm still practicing it to this day. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a selfie of me holding this and you want to make sure it's well lit along and that way they can see your your face along with this sheet of paper. A lot of this probably has to do with liability. And that way, if there's any type of issue with someone trying to hack into your account, crypto.com has proof that it was you, or at least someone who looks close or very, very similar to you that sent this request in specifically. So I'm going to go ahead and snap a selfie now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and snapped a selfie. And as you can see, I'm not a supermodel, but I did get the information correct as they had requested. So they can clearly see my face and they can clearly see the the letter that I wrote. I actually ended up taking two because I decided to put my fingers in the picture and that way it doesn't look like I had photoshopped the piece of paper into the picture. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and message crypto.com through the app. So let me switch back over to the crypto.com app. Okay guys, I went ahead and switched back to the crypto.com app. Now one thing you want to know is that this is going to reset the authenticator on 2FA for your crypto.com app and the exchange account. So once that has been removed by crypto.com you want to make sure you can go through immediately to avoid any kind of fraud on your account so next what you want to do is go ahead and click on this little message icon on the bottom right okay so now we are in the message section of crypto.com and you want to click on this button right here called send us a message i'm going to click there now all right once you're there go ahead and choose your language i'm going to choose english okay next they're going to give you any kind of updates that they already have going on but next what you want to do is go ahead and choose security once you click on security then i'm going to click on account status. And then next it gives me this option to provide a detailed explanation of your inquiry. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this line right here and I will just type in please reset. Actually, I'm going to type in application for resetting 2FA authentication on crypto.com. So I'm going to type that in now. Okay. I went ahead and typed that in, which is the same verbiage that they told me to put on the letter. So I'm going to send that. And next I'm going to attach the picture. So I'm going to click on this little attachment right here. And then I'm just going to choose the photo. Okay. So I went ahead and sent the photo and 
as you can see, it's just a bot that sees the photo. So now I just need to wait for crypto.com to respond back. They say it's usually taking about a day. So we're at 745 on a Sunday right now. So let me check back in as soon as crypto.com gets back to me. Okay, guys, here I am back on my phone. So I'm checking back in. It's a Friday at about five o'clock. So this has been taken care of. So my two factor authorization has been reset. Just to give you an idea on the time frame, again, I stopped the video on Sunday at about eight o'clock. And here we are on Friday at five o'clock. So what is that? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It took about five days. But there's a couple of things you want to know. So I was recording on Sunday the 9th. And then I went back in on the 10th, which is a Monday, to check to see what the process or if there's any, been any updates and I went in and my chat was completely deleted it wasn't there whatever we just put in so what I did is I went ahead and initiated again so I lost a day there where that kind of sucks as you can see on May 10th I started the process again let me scroll down a little bit so as you can see I uploaded the picture again right here and then on the 10th they said they're going to get, have a team member contact me again and then two days later it looked like somebody maybe reviewed it and then it had to go to a special department let me scroll down a little bit further. So on the 12th, they wrote me this long general, it looks like it was just a copy and paste for typical issues that are happening. And they told me to reply back if I have some sort of other inquiry. So they didn't even look at my request. So obviously I sent the picture again. Let me scroll down a little bit more. So here's my photo again that I resent on the 12th because they said I had to respond. And if you look at the date, it was May 9th when I sent this photo. But obviously when I resent it, it wasn't matching the date up. So then two days later on the 14th, I get another email from a person person at crypto.com saying they had a delay and they're asking me to send another picture with today's date matching today's. So I thought, well, great, this is going to take another two days, but let me scroll down a little bit further. So here's today. This is what I sent. Uh, basically, I just used the same note, but I crossed out the date and then I put in today's date and I referenced the person I was speaking with over messaging. I don't know why the picture came in upside down, but it, I guess it doesn't really matter because they were able to review it anyways. And then the person wrote back about one hour later, letting me know that they have reset my two factor authorization or authentication. So now they're telling me that I need to set up two factor authentication, which is the same process as before. And how you can verify this is taken care of. If you go back to the home screen on crypto.com, I'm going to go there now. Okay. So here is the home screen on crypto.com. And if you want to verify your 2FA authentication has been reset, click on this little gear icon here on the top left. Okay. Once you click there, what you want to do is scroll down until you get to this line, two factor authentication. I'm going to click on there now. Okay. I clicked on there and then as you can see, it's not enabled on this account. So if you need help setting up your two-factor authentication, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. This video is only to go over the process on resetting your two-factor authentication. One thing I want to know is it was a long process and kind of an annoying when you have to send multiple pictures along with handwriting out a letter. But just keep in mind though, it is set up to protect your account. I'd rather wait the five days to have my 2FA reset as opposed to someone just going in or a hacker going in and just cleaning out my account completely. So that's kind of the way the world works. If you want a little bit more security, you end up with a little bit more inconvenience, which is what happened here. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking to reset your two-factor authentication on crypto.com, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.